what you were bringing up with Joey is a real good point that a lot of people say, oh, I just want to sort of, they kinda, they're kind of dabbling in the idea of improving themselves. And the real way to do it is you got to write down what the fuck you want and then go after it. Because otherwise you live in sort of a wishy-washy world. You know, if you decide, I'm going to get down to, bang, I'm going to do this. I'm going to run a marathon in less than five hours. I'm going to, you know, whatever the fuck it is, you got to write that shit down and go for it. What I tell people is the best advice that I, I've ever heard, the best advice I ever came up with, is that live your life like you're the hero in your movie. And right now is when the fucking movie starts and your life is a shitbag disaster, like every fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he wakes up and makes a blender full of pizza and ice cream and that's what he, you know what I mean? Those guys where they're like on the brink, they put the gun in their mouth and they put it down because they see a photo of their daughter. Pretend that's you. Pretend you are, uh, right now, you're in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a fucking loser. And just decide not to be a loser anymore. Live your life like there's a documentary crew following you around and you are analyzing your own pain. Do what you would want to do so that your kids one day would look back at it and, and, and see that documentary and look on it with pride. Like, wow, my dad was a bad motherfucker. He really did what he had to do. Wow, my mom really got her shit together. I love a success story, but even more than a success story, I like a dude who fucks his life up and then gets it back together again story. Those are my favorite stories. And the way to do that, you gotta write shit down. You gotta think that you are the hero in your own fucking movie, and then you gotta sit down and you gotta write shit down. You write down what you need to do. Most people play the role of the victim in the movie, right? Sure. Yeah, this life is fucking me over, man. I could have had this and I should have had that. And why does this guy get that? And why does that guy get this? And all things that are completely unrelated to you. All things that you you find other people's success is a, a, a downfall in your own existence. Instead of being inspired, instead of choosing to be positive, instead of like improving constantly on, on the direction of trying to achieve whatever the fuck you have written down, you just sit around and spiral, you know? There's nothing more miserable than sitting around someone who's fucking complaining all the time. It is one of the most annoying things ever. Everybody hates it. When someone just sits around and they complain about their life and they don't do jack shit about it. And you tiptoe around it. You don't know what to say. Well, she gets upset when you bring that up. I don't want to bring that up. And you want to go, you fucking crazy bitch. You know what's wrong with your life. Stop stop announcing it to everybody else and go out and fix that shit. And that's tough love. Tough love is what everybody needs. Absolutely. Me included. 